Hello everyone, it's been a while since I've done a science video where I helped explain a little cool trick you can do, and today I want to talk about cola. So I have here a diet cola. Let me see if I can zoom in on it. The reason I'm showing you this is notice how it has in it phosphoric acid. Phosphoric acid is useful for a variety of reasons. It's used in cola as a food additive for pres preservation and to add a bit of tartness to colas. So it's for flavor and as a preservative, but it can also be used for a variety of cleaning purposes. Today I want to show you how to help remove rust. So here I have a rusty screw. I'm showing you just rust for the proof of having rust. Get to focus. There it is. Here I have a beaker that I'm going to put in about a hundred uh, milliliters. And I'm going to just pour that in, foaming quite good. There it is. Now, I'm using expired soda. There's no particular reason that I'm using expired soda. It just happened to expire. It doesn't have to be for this experiment. But a thrifty mind wastes no cola. So this I'm going to just place in here and let it soak for a little while. And now the reason I wanted to mention this I have some aluminum foil that I just balled up that I'm going to use to scrub the rust off. Why am I going to scrub the rust off if I'm trying to do a chemical reaction on it with the phosphoric acid in the cola? Well, the phosphoric acid doesn't necessarily like burn the rust off. What it does is it converts the iron oxide uh, that the rust is made up of into ferric phosphate or an iron phosphate, which will still be on there, but it's water soluble, so it's easier to clean off. It's a little weaker so that you can actually scrub it off easier than it would be if it was just plain old iron oxide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that soak just a little bit, and then I'm going to scrub it, which is why I have this. There's no particular reason it has to be this large. I just one of this glass here so that when I actually scrub it we can catch the remains in this container. So other than that there were several things I wanted to mention about the cola because you may say to yourself well I'm using a diet cola is there something special about that? Well two things. One diet cola actually usually has less phosphoric acid in it than a standard cola. And you might say, well, wouldn't more phosphoric acid work better? And the answer is actually yes. The reason I'm using a diet cola, other than the fact that it was on hand, is because it doesn't have real sugar in it. So it doesn't get things as sticky. It doesn't attract bugs. It's easier to clean up. Now, a diet Pepsi has about approximately 30 milligrams of phosphorus in it to the serving, whereas it's closer to 50 in a regular cola. So regular cola will work a little better for the actual conversion of the rust into iron phosphate. Welcome back. I got out a rag because we're going to be pulling the uh, rusty screw out of the cola. Just want to catch the drippings. So the cola has been soaking into the rust for about 10 minutes and we're going to pull it out and we're going to scrub on it and we're going to see how it does. So first I get it. Wipe off a little bit. And then you'll see 
the wet screw. And then we're going to just take the aluminum foil and we're going to polish this. And I feel like I should really tell you do not drink the cola, it's been contaminated and it was spoiled anyway. So I'm just going to polish it with some force to try and polish off that weakened rust. Obviously the longer you let it soak the more that it will help you get the rust off. Also if you use something that's a little sturdier like steel wool you'll probably have a better time cleaning off the head than you will using just aluminum foil but this will work as well just takes more time more effort here's the screw all cleaned up see how shiny it is a little bit of imperfections but the small amount of iron phosphates left behind can actually prevent future rust damage as long as you keep it you know clean going forward so it can do a lot with a relatively short amount of time and that's one of the things that I find impressive about this method